So hello guys, welcome back to another video of Noman Talks. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create a good Nokri.com profile. And with the help of that, you will be able to get good jobs. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a secret tip that will help you find jobs much more easier. So watch the video till the end for step-by-step -step process of how to create an Nokri.com profile and how to get good jobs with the help of it. So let's get into the video and let me show you how you can create a good Nokri.com profile. So the very first thing that you are supposed to do is download Nokri.com app. Once you have done that, you need to simply open up the app and it will look something like this. So I'm using my mobile phone to exactly show you what are the steps that you need to follow. So after you have downloaded the app, this kind of interface will open where you will find home, applies, inbox and profile. So you need to go on home. And here you need to click on register if you don't have a profile at Nokri.com and you can simply register with the help of your email address or your mobile number. But I already have a profile so I'm going to log in. So you need to simply enter your email or number and after that you need to enter your password. So after you have logged in into the app, there are a couple of things that you need to make sure that you have done. So for that I'm going to take you step by step all the things that you are supposed to do. So the very first thing you need to click on profile which is on the bottom right. After you click on the profile, you will be able to see your profile. So what the very first thing that you are supposed to do is upload a good professional photo which will help the recruiter to identify you as a person. So I have uploaded this particular photo. You can simply click on the photo and you can upload it from here. Okay. So the next thing that you are supposed to do is update your complete name and your job title. So if you are currently working somewhere, you need to update your job title. So we can click edit on it simply update your full name and at the same time your profile headline. So your profile headline basically means just for an example, if you are working with a company, what is the job title there? If you are an HR manager, if you are a digital marketing executive, so whatsoever it is, you need to update it here. So after you have done that, you need to scroll down and there are career preferences. So you need to click on edit. After you click on edit, you will be see what are the preferred job roles that you want to have. For an example, if you are someone who is a graphic designer, you can simply select here graphic designer. So the very first thing you will see is the graphic designer. So whatever job role you want or whatever you do, what is your preference, you have to enter it here because with the help of this, the jobs that are currently available for your preference, for example, if you are looking for a job for graphic designer, you will get jobs for graphic designer and similar roles. So this is very important, you need to fill this. Second thing is preferred cities. So if you are someone who is working from Lucknow for an example, so your preferred city is Lucknow or maybe around Lucknow. So you need to put those particular cities where you are willing to work. So you need to put the cities where you are willing to work, right? So for my case, I have entered Delhi and CR, Noida, Gurgaon and things like that. So apart from that, the next step is annual salary. So there is a very big confusion among people that they don't know what is CDC and what is in hand. So for an example, if a company is offering 6 LPA ka package, offer kar rahi hai. 6 LPA means lakh per annum. LPA ka full form is lakh per annum. So basically the company is offering you 6 lakh per annum. And in that case, 6 lakhs ko agar aap 12 se divide karte ho, because ek saal mein 12 months hote hai, right? So you will get somewhere around 50,000 rupees as a gross salary. So gross means this is like the complete salary, including all the things. So the enhanced salary that you are going to get that may be somewhere around 44-45 because it's with PF, gratuity and there are a couple of other deductions that are made which are somewhere around 4 to 5 thousand it varies from company to company which companies PF deduct nahi karti hai, which companies PF deduct karti hai and saati fact tax bhi deduct karti hai. So depending upon the situation that is going to be your enhanced salary. So the expected salary I have entered here is 12 rupees. You can enter 5, 6, 10 or whatsoever you think you want. After that, what kind of a job are you looking for? Are you looking for a permanent job? Are you looking for a contractual job? And are you looking for a full-time or a part-time jobs? All those preferences, you can update it from here. So after that, you need to simply click on save and come back and see what are the other details that you need to fill. So once you scroll down, you need to click on the basic details and edit it. So what is your work status? Are you someone who's fresher or are you someone who has experience? So you need to click on that. After that, you need to simply click on experience. So if you are someone who has experience, you need to simply click on experience and put the number of years and months with the experience here. For my case, it is four years and six months. The number of years for which I have the experience, I have entered it here. So once you scroll down, you have to put your current annual salary. Right now, whatever your CTC is, CTC means cost to company. So whatever your current CTC is, you need to put it here. Then your mobile number, your email address and your notice period. So you can simply save this. So as you scroll down, you will see the resume option where you need to click edit 
And if you don't know how to create a good resume, if you don't know how to create a good resume, I have attached the link of the video here and you can watch that video to know how to create a good resume. So you need to simply upload your resume here. After that, once you scroll down, there is going to be a profile summary. So you need to click on that. My profile summary. Basically, it is not updated yet. I need to update it again. But you can put details about your profile in like 100, 150 words. That's a profile summary. You need to update it. My profile summary is also not updated because I have not been using Nokia.com for a while now. So once you scroll down, these are the professional details. So let's click edit. And what is the current industry in which you want a job? So whatever industry you think is relevant for you, for an example, if you are into IT services and consulting, if you are into BPO call center, if you are into ed tech, e-learning or whatsoever, you can simply select it from there. Then the department, the department in which you are interested, you need to simply select that department. And similarly, you need to select your role category and job role. After selecting all of these things, you need to scroll down and select your key skills. What are the skills that you currently possess? For an example, if you are a digital marketer, you must be aware with budgeting. You must be having a good idea about campaigns. You must be having a good idea about how to split budgets within 30 days or things like that. So all the skills that you think you already have, you need to put them here. So I have entered a list of 15 skills that I have currently, which I have put it in here and you can even put more skills, but I think that's enough. So the next step is employment details. So employment details basically refers to your experience. So what is the list of the companies that you have worked with in the past? For my case, it is Publicis, then Board, Vito, and there are two more. So similarly, you can update your companies. You can update the experience of the companies in which you have worked for before. It is very important to fill each and every section because that is how the profile is going to look to the recruiter. If the recruiter is not having a complete idea about your profile, he or she may reject your profile. So it is very important for you to update all these details heading to the next step that is projects. So for an example, if you have done a project in your college or something like that, you can simply add your project here. And then apart from that, I have also entered few IT skills that you can simply enter with the help of ad button here. So as I scroll down, there is an education section where I need to put my education, what all I have achieved in terms of education. It can be graduation, post-graduation, or even if you are a fresher, you can enter your 10, 10, 12 details as simple as that. So after that, there is an accomplishment tab where you can update any kind of research publication that you have done or any certification or work sample or anything like that. This, this can be very useful for graphic designers or people like that who have a portfolio of their work and they can simply update it here in the work sample section. So the last thing in this profile section is personal detail and languages. So you need to update a couple of personal details about yourself, where you belong, what is your permanent address, are you married or not, and what is your date of birth, that's it. So that was it about the profile section. If you see here, there are a lot of things that I have to look at. So this is the number of search appearances that the recruiters have seen me in the last 90 days. So if you want your profile to be shown to a lot of recruiters and you want to get hired quickly, you need to make sure that this discovery scores of yours is very high. And how you can make it high? You can regularly log in into an Opti.com profile. You can respond to recruiter mails and reward them with the actions, right? And at the same time, you need to update your profile with latest information so that the recruiter is able to get the right and latest information about your profile. So as I scroll down, you can see that 102 recruiters have acted upon my profile in the last 30 days. This may say a lot of people have sent me an email, a lot of people have called me and at the same time a lot of people have gone through my Nokia.com profile. Depending upon the keywords, depending upon the details that I have entered into my profile, there are recruiters who are going to search my profile, who are going to look for people who are into e-commerce, who are into specific fields and then once they search them, I have been visible to those particular recruiters 3341 times in the last 90 days. But the 3,000 recruiters have seen my profile in the last 90 days. Mein. And, and how is that? Because I have updated each and every section of my profile with good and right information. And it is very important. So here you can also get an insight about how your recruiters found you. So cataloging keyword to my profile. Mein hai. With the help of that, five times recruiter found me. And similarly, there are a couple of other keywords with the help of which the recruiters have found me. So the secret tip is this only, you need to make sure that your profile is stuffed with good keywords with the help of which the recruiter is going to find you because there are going to be thousands and thousands of candidates on Nokia.com but for you to get that opportunity, for you to get that leverage, 
you need to make sure that your profile is made correctly and your profile should have all the necessary keywords to get a good job also one more thing is if you want to search for job if you want to search for a specific role if you want to search for a specific company you can simply click here on search jobs and with the help of which you will be able to search for companies designations or even location for an example if you want a digital marketing job and that digital marketing job you want it in noida for an example so you need to simply search digital marketing and then location you can simply put noida so once i put both of these filters i need to click on search jobs so as i search for a digital marketing role in noida there are 3991 jobs that are currently available so there are a lot of companies that are hiring for this particular role and all the necessary details are mentioned here for example the location is noida calcutta hyderabad and secunderabad the work experience that the company is looking for is 2 to 7 years the package that they are willing to offer is 3.5 to 8.5 lakhs per annum okay so this you can simply click on this and apply it from here so that was it the very important thing is updating your profile because if, if you have not updated your profile in a right way and with all the information you will not be able to get recruiter actions which is very important so make sure you follow step by step all the processes and fill all the sections because it is very important to fill all the sections in order to get a job at the same time if you have created a good nokri.com profile you need to also make sure that you have created a good linkedin profile if you don't know how to create a good linkedin profile i will attach the link of that particular video here and you can watch that particular video because it is very important and very useful for anyone who is trying to build a career for anyone who is trying to get a job you need to be present on platform like linkedin and nokri.com and at the same time the most important thing is staying consistent using these apps for daily basis even for 5 10 minutes it is very important if you are looking for a job or if you are looking for a job switch so that was it about this video hope you like this video if there is anything specific you want to know about nokri.com or linkedin.com you can simply drop a comment and i'll certainly help you out so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day bye bye